Welcome to Travel School. Today is the first lesson, and we are starting with the cornerstone of our travel planning process, a colorful digital spreadsheet system that allows us to keep hundreds of details at our fingertips while we travel weekly around the world. I'm going to teach you how to use monday.com, walk you through the setup, and explain why this system is the perfect trip planning spreadsheet for us, and it's all free, so stay tuned. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. If you're just joining us, we are senior travel bloggers who are traveling full-time around the world. Today's video is the first in a series of travel lessons where we share with you our knowledge and experience to help you become a better traveler. When we first started traveling, we would have loved hearing the thoughts of people who are doing this daily. And so that is why we're here, to give you some insight into our methods. We will be posting all of these videos on our website, retirementtravelers.com. So go there and check out the entire series. Because this is the first, it will take us a few months to get through all the questions that we get asked, so check back often. If you're wondering where we are in the world as we travel, you can follow along with us on Instagram. We keep it updated to our current location. If you find this information helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook. We're trying to grow our audience of travel enthusiasts and we want to build our community. So hit subscribe and come along. When we began traveling full time, we were determined to leave our binder of papers behind and embrace a digital planning system. Back then we used two programs, TripIt and Microsoft's OneNote. Unfortunately, neither system met all of our needs, and once we hit the road, we quickly learned that we were lacking in organization, and we needed something that could easily be accessed at a moment's notice. We needed something that wouldn't clog up our calendar with unnecessary information. We wanted one fully customizable system that was easy to learn, easy to read, and easy to manage. So picture this. You land at a foreign country, you don't speak the language, you don't know what to expect, and you walk up to the immigration counter after getting off of the plane. They ask you a series of questions like, you know, what is the address of the accommodation where you're staying? Do you have an exit ticket? What is the flight number? How many days are you planning to stay? These are just a few of the questions that we get asked. Mind you, if you're going on you know, one vacation a year, these details might be easy to fetch. But if you're like us and you're traveling for months at a time, you have many details that were planned months before. And you know, they're not front and center in your mind or even front and center in your inbox. Imagine what it's like to plan one week of travel and then multiply it by 52. What happened to us when we first went abroad is that we were in a constant state of panic, wondering if we could retrieve all of the details at a moment's notice. There were a few times when we had an email, but whose email did it go to? Who made the reservation? Was it on TripIt? Was it in OneNote? Was it buried deep into one of our inboxes? We quickly learned that we needed to up our game and make our lives easier. With John's engineering and management background, he was the master at Excel, but I hated it. It was dull to look at and cumbersome to learn. I've always been the organizer in the family and we lived in a very organized space in our former home. I'm just happier if I know where things are. I like systems and I really like visual systems that are color coded. I don't remember how I came across monday.com, but I made myself learn it, at least enough to get me started. So today I'm going to walk you through the setup and show you how I set up my boards to organize our travel life. It might seem like a lot of work getting started, but I can assure you it is worth the effort to do. It really isn't hard. First, let me give you some background information on monday.com. Now, this is a workflow management software that is used by companies to track projects across an entire organization. Let's say a team is collaborating on a project. Everyone in the team can see the status of the project, track deadlines, and communicate through the platform to see a project through to completion. It does so much more than what I need or want, but it's there. If you want to figure out more aspects than I'm showing you, there are tutorials online that can help. 
There are several paid versions or levels depending on your needs, but they also offer a free version. We pay to level up because we use it for project management on Pinterest and our website. But for most travelers, the free version is perfect. They allow two people to collaborate on one account, so it's perfect for a couple. Another great feature is that Monday.com has a phone app. And when you create a board on your tablet or computer, you can see it on your phone as well. We love that we have details in both places. So let's get started. First, you want to create an account. After you create an account, you're taken to your workspace or your board. Here you will see two groups, a blue and a purple group, and below there is an option where you can add another group or as many groups as you want. Uh, you'll see over to the left, there is a main workspace. The title right now says start from scratch and you'll see it listed here. To the right, there's a button with my initials. You can add your picture if you'd like, and there are several options if you click on it. The most important thing you need to know right now is to the right, there is a tab that says invite members. Now, this is where you can invite your partner or your spouse to work on a board with you. The first thing we're going to do is replace the title and I call it travel details. You'll see this under the uh, tab to the left. Once I hit uh, return, you'll see it change to travel details. Down below in the groups, we're going to rename these. I usually start with a date, so I'll put 2024 uh, Europe Summer. And that kind of helps me know when I glance which group of um, travel we're working with. So I'll change this one to 2024 Asia Fall. And uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll create another board below it and we'll call it 2024 Christmas Break. Now, after I've done this, I will um, usually readjust the colors. Uh, you can choose any color you'd like. You just click back on it. You'll see the little tab and you, you're given a lot of options and the color coding just really helps you keep it all organized. Here, we'll make this one dark green for Christmas. Now, as you look to the right, uh, these tabs, you can do anything you want in all of these columns, but you have to pick what kind of column you're creating. For me, I usually just start out by deleting what they have. So we're gonna clean this board up and we are going to start fresh. Just click on the three dots and you delete it. So the next thing we're going to do is to recreate our columns. Let's see, let's close that out. And we're going to add in a date column, a status column, and a text column. So let's go in at the items and let's rename these. So let's say we are going to Europe in the summer. Let's start with Italy. And then we'll go to France. And then we'll go to Spain. Now if we come over to the date, we open it up and it will pull up a calendar. Going in June, and let's start on the 6th, the 13th, and then we will click on June the 20th. Now, if you'll notice here, this is a column summary at the bottom. I hate these. <laughs> so I'm going to open up settings and I'm going to come down to hide column summary and it's gone away. If you'll notice on the status bar, it also has that. So let's go over to settings, hide column summary, and let's just get that rid of that as well. So we're going to rename this hotel. We're going to come over to our text box and we're going to rename it as well hotel. So let's start with the um, status column. If you click on it, you can edit the labels. The first label that I always start with is a done, which is already named that. Um, I'm gonna make it dark green. The next one is working on it. I like it bright yellow. 
and we are going to change the last one to to do. I always like this one to be bright pink. It just shows up well on my board. Now you can also add another label and we're going to make one that's called non-applicable. I usually make this purple and you can just grab it to the left and you can rearrange these and put them in any order you want. I usually like the to do to be at the top. So let's shift that up and there are my columns, my statuses. So I know that I'm going to need a hotel for Italy. I'm going to need a hotel for France and a hotel for Spain. Now this is where the text goes and this is where I usually put the hotel chain or wherever I have the booking. Now to the right I'm going to create another column and I'll make this another text column. We're going to call it transportation. Now I want to create another status bar, but since this one's already formatted, I can go over to the three dots and I can say duplicate and add it to the right. So here it is. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to reposition it. Whoops, went a little too far there. I'm going to bring it back over so that my status is in front. I'm going to rename this one transportation. Here I can click on it. I know that I'm going to need transportation to get to every one of these places, so I'm going to click to do. To the right, I'm going to add another column. We usually have one called car rental. We rarely rent cars, but this just helps us to remember that we do have to do it. So we create one there and I will create another one called activities. So this is if we're going to do an excursion or I know I need to get tickets for something, then I will um, put that one in. I'll go over here to transportation. I'll duplicate it again and I will grab it and move it over. Change the title to car rental. And then I'll do it one more time, duplicate it, and then grab it and move it over. Let me change the title to activities. And then let me grab it and move it over as well. Oops, went a little too far again. <laughs> and there it is. So car rentals, let's say uh, we are not going to get a car rental in Italy, but we're going to get one in France. And we are not going to get one in Spain. Now activities, I usually just fill these in with working on it because that's some research that I'm going to have to do at a later time. So that's what the board looks like. You can go through and just work all of the boards just like this and you can kind of keep track of where you're at in your planning stage. So let's say we book a hotel. I usually, um, you know, keep the booking and say we're doing a booking.com or we're doing a Hyatt hotel and I know where my reservation is. So I put it there and that's the confirmation number. Once I get it made, I put the confirmation number in here with my title. So let's say we have a booking here. We're going to do another Hyatt and we put in confirmation. I'll do the same thing with uh, transportation. I'll put the airline and then I'll put our the six digit code for our reservation. And that's how I do that. I continue on with a car rental and with activities, anything I want to put in here, but it is only text. Now, once I make the reservation and I have gone into um, Hyatt or whatever I'm going to do, I click over here to this column and I can add notes. So here I'm writing a note to myself, booked a hotel near the airport because we are arriving late. I can go to my computer where I have saved my confirmation and I can add it in. Once it's uploaded, there it is. I click update 
and it's there. Now this is also located on my phone in the app. So I love that. Let's say I'm gonna add a map. I've taken a screenshot of a map. I put it here. We're actually in New Delhi right now. So this is a New Delhi map. I'm gonna add it in. I can click update and there is the map. Let's say I want to um, go over to the Retirement Traveler's website and we want to put in a blog post for Turin, Italy. Let's make a copy of it and uh, click on the link. All right, best blog post for Turin. So what we really love about Monday.com is that we can keep as many notes as we want here. Uh, this has saved us so many times by making ourselves notes as, we try, as we're planning, because like I said, it's sometimes months later, six months, nine months later that we will come across what we did and we will need to have information on it. So we love this. And like I said, it goes to your app. Now, if you look up to the uh, to, over to the left, you can create a new board. Uh, we keep a board called Flights, and uh, we just like knowing all of the details of our flights, how long we're going to be, and a layover, how long the flight is, where it goes, what the flight number is, everything you want, and you can create another board. So we usually have a board called Flights, uh, like I said before, we also have boards for our Pinterest um, organization, so be sure you follow us on Pinterest. Uh, but you can see that you can create as many boards as you want. Uh, you can just change the title. You can set these up. Every board doesn't have to be the same as far as the columns go. You just find a column that fits your needs. If you go into Monday.com, you can look around and see what kind of columns they have. You can create all kinds of things. This is an awesome setup and an awesome system. You can see above where it says see plans. If you click on that, you can see that there are different levels. What I want you to know here is that the free plan button is right here. And after 14 days of your trial, you can go in and you can select a paid version or you can select the free, but you have to click there to um, maintain the free plan. So that's how I set up my boards and keep our details organized. Like I said, this system can do a lot of things that I don't need, but it's a great travel system for us. Next week, we'll cover setting up a travel budget. We'll talk about what we consider when we plan our travels and how it impacts our cost. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you next week. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.